everyone, welcome back to another episode with me, Living Free Ashley. Today, I'm so excited, we are making fried rice with a chickpea flour scrambled egg. So I have a couple inspirations for this recipe. First one comes from Saska Lily. I was watching one of her videos where she does a what I eat in a day and she made a fried rice and I was like, oh, that looks so good. I've said it before, I love rice, but I've never made fried rice at home. It's something I like to order out, but haven't in a while because it's hard to find it vegan. And anyway, so I watched her video and I was like, oh, that looks good. Then I kind of forgot about it. And then I was watching a video from Not Your Average Vegan the other day and she was doing a fried rice with an orange chicken tofu and I was like, oh, that looks so good. <laughs> I gotta do this, I gotta try this. So I made it at home and I used the chickpea flour egg for the scrambled egg and it was so good and I tipped my hat off to myself because I had done so well and I was like, I need to make a video of this and I didn't need to share it and show how easy it is because it is easy and it's so yummy and mm, yum, fried rice. <laughs> so I'm using brown rice today but you can use whatever rice you would like and that's it. Let's get into it. All right, start by heating up one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil or broth or water for the oil-free version. Add in half a median onion diced and saute that for a few minutes until the onions start to brown. Next, add in one medium carrot diced, which is about half a cup and half a cup of diced mushrooms and give that a stir and let that saute for a couple minutes as well. Next, you're gonna be adding in the rice and I know my saute pan sticks a bit, so I just pushed all of the veggies aside so that I could add a little bit more oil. And then add in about three to four cups of cooked brown rice, which is about one and a half cups of uncooked brown rice. Add two tablespoons of gluten-free tamari or soy sauce, half a cup of frozen or fresh corn kernels, half a cup of frozen or fresh peas, and give that a good stir to mix all of the ingredients and to start frying the rice. And you wanna put that on low so that it doesn't burn. And while you're frying your rice in a small bowl, you wanna mix one third cup of chickpea flour, one teaspoon of Shawnee seasoning, or a quarter teaspoon of black salt for that eggy flavor, and one third cup of water. And you wanna whisk well until all the ingredients are incorporated. And set that aside. Okay, back to the rice now. Give that a good stir. And then you're just gonna push all of the rice aside so that there is a circle in the center for your vegan scrambled eggs. So pour your chickpea flour mixture into that circle and you just wanna let it start cooking and thickening. And when you start to see the bubbles on the top, kind of like a pancake, that's when you know you can start scrambling. So take your spoon and start mixing and scrambling your vegan eggs and then mix that all into the fried rice. And you just wanna cook that for a couple more minutes until you get the consistency that you like. And there you have it. Yummy vegan fried rice with the added bonus of a vegan chickpea flour scrambled egg. So not only is this a delicious dish, it's also another one pot dish. And I seem to be doing a lot of those lately I think just because the ease of it and because it's fall, you kind of like, I kind of like more rustic filling dishes and it kind of warms you up and <laughs> yeah, so one pot, super easy. You get protein from the peas, from the brown rice, from the chickpea flour, so it's a really nice meal. You can have all on its own. I, um, what did I do with it? Oh, I did a big uh, batch of steamed broccoli that to go along with mine, so. Eat it however you'd like. <laughs> Thanks again for watching another video with me, Living Free Ashley. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and cheers to living free.